ever wondered where the wind comes from? It's a cosmic dance between our fiery sun, Earth's spin, and the bumpy terrain. This invisible orchestra conducts a symphony of air currents, swirling around our planet, creating a kinetic force we call wind. The sun, our celestial maestro, heats the Earth unevenly, causing air to flow from high-pressure areas to low-pressure ones. This movement, combined with the Earth's rotation and the irregularities of our landscapes, orchestrates the rhythm of the wind. Now, let's introduce the star of our show, the wind turbine. These towering giants are the dancers that convert the wind's kinetic energy into mechanical energy and ultimately, electricity. Here's how they do it. The wind turbine is composed of several key parts. The most noticeable are the long, propeller-like blades, which capture the wind's energy. As the wind blows, it pushes against the blades, causing them to lift and turn. This rotation spins a shaft connected to a rotor inside the turbine. The rotor then drives a generator, a device that uses electromagnetic induction to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Simply put, as the rotor spins, it creates a moving magnetic field that induces an electric current in a coil of wire. This electric current is then fed into the power grid or used directly, lighting up our homes, powering our industries, and charging our devices. This invisible orchestra conducts a symphony of air currents, and guess what? We can make those wind whispers sing electric tunes. Let's dissect these wind giants. Starting from the top, we have the blades and rotor. These propeller-like appendages dance with the wind, spinning the rotor in an energetic twirl. You see, the blades are designed to exploit the physics of lift and drag, the same forces that let airplanes fly. They catch the wind on their curved surface, creating a pressure difference that causes them to spin. The rotor is attached to these blades, and as the wind pushes the blades, the rotor turns too. Inside the nacelle, which is the large box-like structure at the top of the tower, we find the generator. This is where the magic happens. The rotor's spin is converted into electricity here, thanks to the principles of electromagnetism. The tower, a long, slender structure, serves as the backbone of our wind giant, holding up the nacelle and the blades high into the sky, where the wind is stronger and more consistent. At the base, we have the foundation which anchors the turbine to the ground, ensuring it stays upright even in the strongest winds. Now there are two main types of wind turbines, horizontal axis and vertical axis. The most common is the horizontal axis, which can be further divided into upwind, with the blades facing the wind and downwind with the blades set on the leeward side. Vertical axis turbines, like the Darius model, have their blades set around a vertical rotor. These are less common but have their own unique advantages. Wind turbines aren't just for windy fields anymore. They've become globetrotters, spinning their tails of energy generation from the heart of bustling cities to the tranquility of country farms. Picture this immense clusters of turbines, their blades etching a rhythm against the sky. These are land-based wind farms, powerhouses that energize whole cities. But the wind whispers don't stop at the shore. They extend to the vast open ocean where offshore wind farms, true titans of technology, embrace the mighty marine gusts. Then there are the unsung heroes, the distributed wind systems. These compact turbines cater to our homes, farms, and small businesses, proving that wind power isn't just for the big players. And let's not forget the hybrid systems, where wind and solar energies intertwine in a harmonious dance, offering a lifeline to remote and off-grid locations. So, from megawatts for cities to cozy watts for farms, wind power is taking the world by storm. The future of wind whispers exciting possibilities. As we gaze into the horizon, we see wind turbines reaching new heights, both literally and figuratively. Their blades, now larger than ever, are designed to capture even the subtlest of breezes, unlocking regions previously deemed unsuitable for wind power. Innovation isn't confined to land. Advancements in technology have given birth to floating offshore rigs, enabling us to harness the immense power of ocean winds. These offshore titans offer a solution to space constraints, all while delivering a hefty punch of electricity. But it's not just about generating power, 
it's about getting it where it needs to go. Enter Smart Grid Integration, the linchpin that connects individual turbines, creating a robust and resilient energy network. Yet, as we harness the wind's might, we must tread lightly. With larger turbines and expanded operations come challenges. We must ensure these developments coexist harmoniously with nature and local communities. Now that we've unmasked the wind whispers, let's recap what we've learned. Wind turbines, those towering giants, capture the wind's energy, converting it into electricity. They come in many shapes and sizes, serving cities, homes, and even remote locations. The future of wind energy is bright, with advancements pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But we must tread carefully, ensuring harmony with nature and communities. Thanks for joining us on this whirlwind adventure. Stay curious, stay energized, and keep learning with Mural.